Hi guys, my name is Rushma and today I am trying Indian vegetarian fast food. So let's go. My first stop was swastik sweets and snacks. A few years back, Kolkata's renowned brand Bikaram Chandimal opened its first outlet here in Indrachok near New Road in Kathmandu by the name Swastik Sweets and Snacks. It is a pure vegetarian restaurant and they sell a variety of Indian foods and sweets. I ordered myself a plate of chole bhature. So excited to have this uh, chole bhature. <laughs> Starting off with pork. Now let's try. Okay, they have this chickpea vegetable and they have this chutney, green chili and maybe radish. And they have some tomatoes and onion and cucumber. It's freshly cooked. The chickpea vegetable looks so good. First bite, cheers. I'm sitting right in front of the counter, but they also have sitting arrangements upstairs. Lovely. So tasty. Not very spicy. Just a moderate amount of spice. Not very. Uh, like it doesn't contain a lot of chili, so it's perfect for me because I don't eat a lot of chili. And coke, as always, is my favorite. The cost of chole bhature was 325 rupees and coke was 60 rupees. Then I went to have chaat at this small street shop in Paco New Road, just in front of People's Plaza. It is always filled with people. He told me that they have been running this stall here for 20 years and now they have two other outlets in Kathmandu. I ordered for half plate of aloo tikki chaat which costed me 70 rupees. There was one potato patty which is aloo tikki and was loaded with chickpea curry topped with yogurt and other spices and it was really really tasty. Thank you. So I'm here at the west side of Michal Bazaar and I'm going to this place called Shikra. And this place is very famous for its samosas. So let's see how it is. You have to go through this small alleyway which takes you to this courtyard where the tipped off food place is. But there are many tailoring shops here as well. This place has been here for around 40 years or even more. People line up here specially for samosas, which it is famous for. So I've ordered one samosa and one dhukma. Plain dhukma. Fine. Let me just try it. Yum. It is juicy and so tasty. Size of the samosa is average.
And finally, I went to Nandan Foods, which is also in New Road. They have been serving vegetarian food here in Kathmandu since 1993. All the places I went to eat today are located in New Road as it is accessible to me. So here I have ordered papri chat. Let's take the first bite. Cheers. It's okay. And this I have ordered masala dosa. Now let's see the stuffing over here. Let's see what it has. Wow, look at the stuffing. And this is sambar. Coconut chutney and tomato chutney. So now let's take the first bite of dosa. Dosa feels like the ultimate fast food. Mm, yum. This is good. This is so good. So thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel if you have not already and do like this video and share it with people who like to eat Indian vegetarian fast food in Kathmandu. Thank you. Why are vegetarian food so expensive? Okay? Now this uh, this is how much? 400 rupees? Why not? Chole bhakuri over there was 325. Just like sugar free sweets are more expensive than the sh uh, sweets with sugar. Okay, eggless cakes are more expensive. Whereas eggs and sugars are more uh, expensive. Okay? I don't understand.